Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Claire. About a year and a half ago, I sold all of my things to become a scuba instructor and travel the world. So now I'm sharing all of my experiences and all of my tips and tricks for traveling. Right now, my friends and I are in the Philippines. And if you saw last week's video, you'll know that we were on the island of Malapascua swimming with thresher sharks. Now we made our way all the way to a new island called Leyte in search of a different marine animal. This one I have been searching for for three years and this is my fourth country trying to find this thing. So our journey from Malapascua to Leyte was very very long. First we had to get on the boat from Malapascua back to Cebu and then we had to take about an hour long ride from the north port to one slightly lower and then we had to take a tuk-tuk from where the bus dropped us off to the next port. It took about two and a half hours to get to then the island of Leyte. We then hopped on another bus that took us to a town of Orma. And by this time we were all quite tired and just wanted to call it a night. And so we decided to stay the night in Orma and then head to the town of Padre Burgos the next day. Padre Burgos was gonna be our final destination for this island. So the next morning we woke up, found a bus that took us all the way there, it took about four hours. And then once we got to the town, super, super small town, might I add. Uh, we got another tuk-tuk that took us all the way to our Airbnb then. Leaving now, let's go up. Our Airbnb was super, super cute. It was an oceanfront house that was just really, really nice. However, in my last video, I also mentioned how karaoke seems to be a really big thing in the Philippines. In this Airbnb, we were directly across the street from a karaoke bar. And so for the first two days that we arrived, they sang karaoke from nine in the morning to nine or 10 at night, nonstop, straight through the day, no pauses. We were about to go insane. So that was something that was unexpected. Luckily for the remaining time that we were there, they didn't have it open. They only did the karaoke, I guess, a couple times a week. But it was our first two days there, so we were getting very nervous that this was gonna be the trend the entire time. So I mentioned my friends, so I'll introduce them again. They're the same ones I've been traveling with the last couple weeks. We have four of us. There's me, Jordi, Danny, and Jan. We all met while working in Thailand and then realized that we were all wanting to go to the Philippines, so we decided to go together. We had one purpose and one purpose only for coming down to the town of Padre Burgos, and that was whale sharks. Good morning, guys. It is about 7 a.m. right now, and today is a very big day that I have been waiting for for about three years. <laughs> Today is hopefully whale shark day. So we're going with the company that's taking us out. We're going snorkeling with the whale sharks. It's about an hour and a half boat ride out to the site where they usually are. And then basically we will spend four hours 
are so searching for the whale sharks and spending time with them and swimming with them. I'm not gonna jinx it and say that we are 100% going to see whale sharks today because I've done that to myself so many times in the past now and it has not worked out for me anytime. We asked the guy at the dive shop, like, how often do you come back and no one's seen a whale shark? He, and he's just like, I'm not gonna say there's a 100% chance you're gonna see one but I would be very, very shocked if you were our first group that has come back without seeing a whale shark. So I think today's gonna be the day bug and I don't wanna jinx it, so knock on wood. <laughs> and again, this is now the fourth country that I've gone to in search of these things. First, it was Mexico. Mexico is a great place to see them, but I was just there during the wrong parts of the season. Um, Belize. I went down there, the internet said, oh yeah, May is going to be peak season for whale sharks. I get down there and they're like, oh no, we haven't seen a whale shark here in nine years. Then I go to Thailand and they're like, oh yeah, you're going to get sick of all the whale sharks that you're going to see this season. And I don't end up seeing one in the span of the five months that I was there. So keep your fingers crossed for me, please. I will keep you guys updated on our whole journey today and hopefully it's a good day. Well. guys a little bit about the order of our day so we got to the dive shop in the morning took a boat to a nearby reef where we stayed for about 45 minutes we just snorkeled we also flew the drone
snorkeling in that site close to the dive shop. It took like about an hour ride for us to get to where all the action happens. On our way there, we found a few pods of dolphins. I haven't seen them in a long time, so that was really nice. And now I'm not going to spoil any more for you guys. I'm just gonna take you along on our quest to find the whale sharks. <laughs>
Oh, I think oh. my camera just went off when I had a video. I think I have some good shots about <laughs> Guys, it finally happened. <laughs> After three years and four different countries, I have finally seen a whale shark. Check. How was today, Jordy? You feel happy? Amazing. I enjoyed like a kid. <laughs> Jan? Yes. Feel happy? So good. Amazing. <laughs> Danny? Feel happy? Yes, I am. <laughs> Amazing day. So yeah, it happened. I have finally found the whale sharks. I can check them off my bucket list. They've been on the top for such a long time. So a little bit more about our trip. We took the boat to an area where whale sharks are frequently spotted. We didn't want to go with a company that feeds them. We wanted them to be in their natural environment. So how it worked, we had the big boat with all of the snorkelers on it. And then there was a lot of locals that were on canoes in the water. And basically they were just canoeing along. They had scuba diving masks on. And then all of a sudden they would just like whoosh, dip their head into the water. Uh, with their mask, see if there was a whale shark under there, and then if there was, they would start waving their paddle in the air, the big boats would come closer, and then they would blow the horn of the boat, we would all jump in. Um, the boat was moving while we were jumping in, and so we all had to jump in on a line, or else if we all jumped in at the same time, we would jump in on top of each other. Whale sharks are incredibly fast. In the videos, they look like they're hardly moving. Their tail is going so slow. If you see us right next to them, we are kicking, 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 trying to go so fast to keep up with them. Luckily, we had a lot of adrenaline running through our system, so our group was able to keep up with them quite well. There was a lot of times where it was just us four and the whale shark. Now, if you watched last week's video again, you will know that my GoPro flooded. Now, I was really, really bummed because I knew that whale sharks was going to be next. So I'm like, what do I do? We tried to use Jordy's 360 camera and found that underwater, the 360 camera is not great. The quality of the footage is very, very blurry. But luckily, Jan and Danny had a GoPro as well. So I just ended up stealing all of their footage. Overall, it was such an amazing experience. I'm so happy that I finally got to just be in the moment with a whale shark. I have just been wanting that for so long. I feel very happy that I finally have gotten to do that. However, I was really wanting it to be like a natural experience, like going on a scuba dive and then all of a sudden we run into one. This felt kind of icky because it kind of felt like we were just chasing it I, so i started feeling a bit guilty about that i do really really hope to see a whale shark again soon just naturally but the silver lining is that these whale sharks were not fed so what is next so our time in the philippines is unfortunately over we're saying goodbye to yan and danny they're continuing to other parts of the philippines while jordi and i are continuing to travel for a few more weeks we are going to indonesia we're first going to the island of bali we're going to spend one week in ubud and then we're going to head on over to nusa Penida for one more week after that, Jordi has to go back to Spain, and so I will be continuing by myself. I am then thinking of spending two weeks in Chenggu until my visa runs out and I have to leave. After that, I have no idea yet. So if you guys have any ideas of places that I should go while I'm down here, let me know. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my travel tips, you can visit my blog. It's www.adventuringwithclaire.com. And then you can also find me on Instagram and TikTok at Adventuring with Claire for additional travel content. So thank you guys again so much. I will see you next week.